opening this Universal Yums. A Universal Yums box is a monthly snack subscription from different places every single month. And let's find out where this one's from. Any yes. guesses? No. Okay, let's see. It's from Italian. <gasps> it's from Italy. Oh. How cool. Um, okay, let's see. So this box is from Italy. That's so cool. Have you ever been to Italy, Ainsley? Yes. You have? Where in Italy did you go? Uh, Sicily. Have you ever been? I have not, but I wanna go. Okay, should we get started with our snacking? What's the first item? You wanna pull it out for us? Yes. Oh, we should um, get a thumbnail. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What should our first snack be? Should we try maybe this? Yeah. Okay. We're just blind testing this. <gasps> so apparently these are Italian fruit jellies. Oh, cool. They are made from real Italian fruit juices and are sugar encrusted jellies that are supposed to be super soft, delicate, and very fruity. Let's see. Oh wait, I'm sorry. No. Oh, there's different. Oh, they're both in the same thing. These are milk chocolate popcorn bites. Which one should we try first? Um, let's try these big fruits, maybe. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Cheers. Ding. Ooh, I think I got grapes. That's yummy. Is it as delicate as they said it was? It is really delicate. Kind of like a Turkish delight. Did you like that? That's like a really good one. Let's try these popcorn popcorn bites. Oh, wow. Cheers. Wow. That's mm. good. There's like popcorn kernels. What do you think? What would you rate that? I don't know. Um, it's, um, about it's good, it's good. Do you know that these candies are date back to 1915? They've been using the same recipes in 1915. These just got an extra point for that because I like that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, let's rate the fruit jellies first. I would rate it like a four and a half out of five. Me too. Okay, four and a half out of five, that's our final answer. I'm and the popcorn thing. what are we rating this? I'm gonna give this like a 4.2. Yeah, me too. Next thing in our little pouch, you pick. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, those are pizza flavored corn rings. A pizza flavored corn ring. Here, I'm gonna show them the bag. How cool. Oh, my. oh we forgot the cheers. Cheers. It actually tastes like pizza. Oh my gosh. That literally tastes like a pizza. Those are really good. What are you gonna give those? A uh, hungry out of 50. I'm gonna give that a five out of five. I have no critiques. These are yummy. That one. Thank you. <laughs> they taste like pizza. I feel like they're kind of low cow. They're giving, they're giving Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next thing. Yeah. We're gonna be making or doing some paprika potato chips. Let's see. Hi, you keep up ready to cheers me, you silly goose. Okay. All right, these are the Ami Amica paprika chips. I don't know what paprika tastes like. It's not like them. It's kind of like Italy's version of a barbecue Lay's chip. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really like it, so I'm giving it um, a one out of five. Really? Not bad? I'm giving it like a four out of five. Moving on, what are we eating next? I want to try this. Next thing is this chocolate tiramisu cream cake. Here you go. Wanna open it? That looks amazing. Yeah. You wanna split it in half? It's fluffy. Um, that is fluffy. Have you ever had a moon cake before? No. Oh my gosh, totally reminds me of this. It's really rich though. What would you give this? I would give it like a four and a half out of five. I'm giving it a hundred out of five. Really? We're gonna come back to those. Let's try this. This is a hazelnut milk chocolate bar. <laughs> it's probably like a Kinder Bueno. Have you ever had one of those? No. We love Kinder. Oh yeah, I, I know Kinder. Yeah. This looks good. Take a bite. Mmm. Yep, it tastes like Nutella. That's delicious. I'm gonna give that a 4.9 out of 5. It tastes like this gelato I had in Italy. Where in Italy were you? Terramina. Terramina? I think that's how you say it. Terayuya. Okay. Wow. Last but not least, these we're are. We're the cookies for last. Amarantini. Chris Falman chips. She's embarrassed by me. Don't worry, you guys. All the time, this is our relationship. No, it's not. <laughs> So, fun fact about these cookies. They need a scissor to be open. Scissors, please. <laughs> 
Fun fact about these cookies is that they were dated back to 1719 in Serrano. Wow. Where a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church. Wanting to prepare him for a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites, which they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much that he blessed the couple to have a long, happy union. Wow. Oh, they're little, they're little baby cookies. How cute. Cheers. I thought they were gonna be bigger. <gasps> oh no, they're so good. You don't like it? No. I like it. Huh? Tastes like cookie, um, cookie brittle. What? No. I'm a fan of these. I'm gonna give these a 4.9 out of 5. I give them a 0 out of 5. 0 out of 5, come on. Okay, 1. Okay, we got a 1. Well, that's it for today. All in all, the Universal Young Box from Italy was super yummy. And we had a lot of fun trying all the new things. Thanks for watching, guys. Like Bye. and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos. Bye. Click the link in the description and get 37 free crafts when you subscribe to our newsletter.